My liege, I did deny no prisoners. But I remember when the fight was done, when I was dry with rage and extreme toil, breathless and faint, leaning upon my sword, came there a certain lord, neat and trimly dressed, fresh as a bridegroom, and his chin you reeked showed like a stubble and a harvest home. And as the soldiers bore dead bodies by, he called them untaught knaves, unmannerly to bring a slovenly, unhandsome corpse betwixt the wind and his nobility. With many holiday and lady terms, he questioned me, among the rest, demanding my prisoners in your majesty's behalf, I then, all smarting from my wounds being cold, to be so pestered with a popinjay. Out of my grief and my impatience, answered neglectingly, I know not what, that he should or he should not. For he made me mad to see him shine so brisk and smell so sweet and talk like a waiting gentlewoman of guns and drums and wounds, God save the mark. <laughs> this bald, unjointed chat of his made me to answer indirectly, as I said. And I beseech you, let not his report come current for an accusation betwixt my love and your high majesty. <laughs>